see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding. Man, you seen the intro clip. I had to start riding dirty on them. I said to myself, man, if I get this broom, only thing I was thinking about in my head was that chameleon air riding dirty song. So I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. So anyway, man, what is going on YouTube? The assist man, I'm coming back at you guys with another Neverwinter video. And inside of this video, man, I got a story to tell. Oh my God, a story to tell. Now you guys know that I made a video about a week ago about how hard it was to get the Enchanted Witch's Sash to actually get the Enchanted Broom out. And in this video, I'm going to show you me going up to the vendor and getting them out. I had enough. I had everything. Now, this is the crazy story of how this happened. But before I go into depth about it, man, if you guys haven't hit the thumbs up like on this video yet, man, please go ahead and do so. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future content or live streams. So let's go ahead and get into it. I had opened up over 500 pinatas on my Trickster Rogue. Over 500. Now, I do have a disclaimer. I didn't know for sure if only the person who puts down the pinata can actually get the enchanted sash or if one of your friends put down a pinata for you and you hit it, would you actually get the sash? And I've came to the conclusion after thoroughly testing this for hours that only the person that puts the pinata down is entitled to get the sash, okay? So. Even though I did open up like 500 pinatas, like half of those weren't even mine. Like I had like 250 pinatas alone that my friends and some of you guys just let me open up, you know, live on stream and whatnot. So I did open up over 500, but theoretically I only opened up about 250 of my own on my Trickster Rogue. But with that being said, I still never got the sash. So. You guys seen the video I made recently about me switching to the Control Wizard class from the Trickster Rogue. It was so crazy how this happened. I actually was like, you know what? I'm going to start playing my Control Wizard again. Screw the Trickster Rogue. It's time for some change. So I literally go on my Control Wizard. I kid you not, I wish I was recording this when this happened because it was insane. I go on my Control Wizard. I go and I, you know, I start getting all my stuff, my gear. I'm probably in Protector's Enclave for about an hour. I don't farm a single pumpkin because I don't really care about it anymore. So then I go to um, Cholt and Omu, obviously, because I have to start doing those campaign things in order to get the boons and unlock, you know, the full tree of the campaign through Omu, uh, Omu, <laughs> Omu and Cholt and Ravenloft. So basically for about three to four hours straight, I was just doing the beginning campaign things of Omu, Cholt, and Ravenloft. And after about three or four hours, I was done playing. I pretty much maxed out all the stuff I needed to. I came back to the Enclave. Well, I killed a bunch of enemies while I was inside of those areas. So I had like seven or eight Liar's Charms on me. So I said, oh, let me trade these things in. So I traded in, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have seven or eight Liar's Charms. I had like 20 to 30 Liar's Charms. I think it was like 30 Liar's Charms. So I said, oh, let me go ahead and trade these things in just for the hell of it. So I came to Protector's Enclave. I traded in my like 30 Liar's Charms. In the 30 Liar's Charms that I traded in, miraculously, I managed to get eight pinatas. So I got eight pinatas out of 30 bags, which is a lot higher than I've gotten on my assault, my assist man Trickster Row character. So, I said, okay, let me open these up. I got eight pinatas. So then I said, okay, let me go ahead and put a pinata down. So I put a pinata down, hit it, nothing. Waited two minutes, put another one down, hit it, nothing. On my third freaking pinata, my third one, I hit it, and I got the Enchanted Witch's Sash. I said to myself, you've got to be kidding me. I've opened up 250 to 500-ish 
you know, pinatas on my main character. I just switched to this guy, and in my third freaking pinata, I get the Enchanted Witch's Sash. But if you think that's crazy, I have more news for you. I still had like five pinatas left. So I opened up the fourth one, didn't get nothing. On the fifth freaking pinata, I shit you not, I got another Enchanted Witch's Sash. Two pinatas later, five total, two sashes. I said, you gotta be kidding me. I can't even use it because it said you might, you only have, you could only have one of unique item in your inventory. So I couldn't even use it. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Pretty much three pinatas, two sashes, two sashes out of five. This is nuts. I've opened up so many on my Trickster Rogue and never gotten it. Literally spent an entire week for hours a day farming the damn event just to get the broom. It's amazing to me. So, on my fifth pinata, I got it. I still had three pinatas left. I put the sixth one down, popped that one. Put the seventh one down, popped that one. Put the eighth one down, popped that one. And another freaking sash comes out in the eighth pinata. I am not kidding you. I got another Enchanted Witch's sash when I opened up the eighth pinata. I was sitting here. Homicide was in the party with me. I couldn't freaking believe it. I said, this has got to be the craziest RNG of craziest RNGs of all times. And basically, that's what it boils down to about my entire rant video I made about the Enchanted Witch's Sash. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, I opened it up a pinata and got on my first try. And then you had people like me in the comment section saying, dude, I farmed this thing for hours. I've opened up like hundreds of these things and never got an Enchanted Sash. The RNG for the Sash is just crazy. It's completely freaking nuts. I go from opening up 250 to 500 pinatas on one class, don't get a sash, and then switch to another class, open up my first eight pinatas, and get three, three witches sashes and eight pinatas? I said to myself, this is freaking nuts. Couldn't believe it. And obviously, just like the second one, I couldn't even use the third one or couldn't pick it up because it said you might, you only could have one of each unique item in your inventory. But it was definitely the Witch's Sash. I seen it there and the little picture of the twined rope sash thing showed on the screen. I couldn't freaking believe it. A whole week, four or five hours a day farming on my Trickster Rogue to get the sash. Nothing. So then I was thinking to myself, well, damn, maybe they improved the drop rates. Maybe this has changed because, see, the bad thing was... On my control wizard, I just started. I had no masquerade tokens at all. I literally had the ones I got from opening up the bags, which was like 40. No masquerade tokens at all. But on my Trickster Rogue, not only did I already purchase the gnarled broomstick for 200 tokens in anticipation of building the broom, but I had an additional, like, friggin', I don't even know how many, uh, oh, well over a thousand masquerade tokens, even after I friggin' bought the gnarled broomstick and after I bought a damn jack-o'-lantern head. So I still had well over a thousand masquerade tokens on that class, so I said, well, damn, it's gonna take me a lot of farming now on my control wizard to get this, let me switch back to my trickster rogue, and maybe the drop rates have changed. So I went into Protector's Enclave, went to a couple areas, I farmed for about an hour and a half. I think I had about 50 to 80, it was in that range, I, I don't remember the exact number, it was more than 50, but it was less than 80, Liar's Charms. I then spent like the next 20 to 30 minutes going around the uh, Protector's Enclave, playing Trick or Treat with the uh, Masquerade Illusionist, trading them in my Liar's Charms, and then getting bags. I then opened up how many bags it was. I, like I said, it was more than 50, less than 80. But anyway, I had wound up, I think I had wound up with like 15 to 20 pinatas. So it definitely seems like somehow the drop rate of the pinatas increased, at least for me. But I had about 15 to 20. It, was, it wasn't 20, it was in the teens. So it was like 15 to 19 of them. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and open them up. I opened up all the pinatas on the Trickster Rogue. Not a single sash still. So then I was like, okay, this is just weird. Because I opened half of them in my stronghold, and I opened the other half of them in a private queued high-level dungeon. Which I've tested all the theories. Guys, it's just RNG. If they're going to drop for you, they're going to drop for you anywhere. So then I farmed for about another two hours, two and a half hours actually, and I wound up building up a ton of Liar's Charms. And this time I had probably like 150 Liar's Charms in about two and a half hours of farming these damn things. 
So then I traded them in and I wound up getting about 40 pinatas. It was like 35 to 40 pinatas. I opened up all the pinatas in different areas and I still did not get the witch's sash on my trickster rogue. So at this point, I just think that my trickster rogue is broken and I'll never get a sash on there, but I don't care. I already got it on my control wizard. But then I had to spend like another couple days farming on the control wizard just to get 800 masquerade tokens because you need 200 to buy the gnarled broomstick and another 600 to buy the broom. Moral of the story is the RNG is crazy, the luck is crazy, and at the end of the day, I finally got the witch's sash and I finally got the enchanted broom. So anyway, man, just wanted to give you guys an update. Even though I got the broom, I'm probably not going to be using it. I'll probably only break it out during Halloween because I like other mounts more. But it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm just happy that I finally was able to get it and add it to my collection. So anyway, YouTube guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your horror stories in the comment section down below with this entire broom and this event. And if you guys haven't done so already, man, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so as well. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man. And until next time, I am out.